it's Rachel Starr back again with episode 9 of the Rachel Starr Show. I talk all about the one, two, three for everyone who wants to level up in sex, love, and life. Today I'll be talking about etiquette when interacting with a porn star, such as in public, at a strip club, AVN, um, when she's at Exotica. Also how to interact with her on social media as well with commenting and liking and retweeting and to finalize that is I get the question all the time about dick pics. Do we like them? Do we don't like them? That's a great question and I love that question because I've had some amazing experiences and I've had some really, really bad ones where I was just almost turning red and embarrassed for them. So if you see us out in public, number one, if we're eating and we have a mouthful of food, wait. Don't come up to us when we're right in the middle of a meal. Kindly wait and then once you see that we've finished, you can come up and just introduce yourself. Hi, I'm, you know, John Smith, and are you who I think you are? Is your name Rachel? Um, you could start it out with like that. You don't have to come out and be like, are you Rachel Starr? Just, you know, hi, I'm John Smith. Does your name happen to be Rachel? And if I want to be in that mode and accept that kind of an invitation, I'm gonna say yes. And you're gonna be like, Rachel Starr? And I'm gonna say, yeah, that's me. At that point, you know that I'm very comfortable at this in, in that scenario. So then you can move on to be like, oh, you know, I, I would really love a picture with you. Is that okay? If I'm sitting next to somebody, you know, turn to that person and say, hey, sorry for interrupting. I'd just really love a picture. Is that okay? So not only be respectful of what I'm doing in the situation that you caught me in, but who I'm with as well. You know, that could be my best friend. That could be, it, I could be having dinner with my dad. I could, you know, who knows who I'm out and about with. So be respectful of the people that I'm with. And if I'm by myself, make sure that my mouth isn't full of food <laughs> in the process. Or if you can see that I'm rushing through an airport and I'm running with my luggage behind me, you might have recognized me, but probably not the best time to stop me in my tracks and ask me for a picture. Um, we want to make you guys happy. We want to give the picture. We want to answer your questions, but just make sure it's at a convenient time. So put yourself in our shoes. Do you want to answer a bunch of questions with your mouth full of food or when you're rushing to possibly get on a plane that might leave you? <laughs> Um, so I would say that that's the best thing, but totally welcome to ask for pictures and ask questions. I love answering questions about my job. Um, I'm a normal person. Like you can just talk to me like a normal person that you're going to walk up to and just strike up a conversation. Public is a different setting. You're meeting me on my personal time when I'm not at work. Um, so that interaction is going to be different and that's why you need to be cognizant of do I have a mouthful of food or am I rushing around somewhere or does it look like, ah, oh, you know, it doesn't look like she's doing too much. I can come up to her. Now, if I'm at an event like AVN, I am being paid to be there. So I am, I'm in work mode. That is the number one way that you would want to meet porn stars and be able to come up to them freely and not have to feel awkward or if you're interrupting. No, we're paid to be there and meet and interact with you. So at AVN, Exotica, um, when I'm headlining at a gentleman's club, a strip club, they have paid my agent. There is a contract in place. I'm supposed to be there for a set number of hours. 
um, from this time to this time, and it is all about making you guys happy. So there's a lot less pressure in that setting. I would say that when we're on stage, um, know that when we're on stage, we have to be up there for a certain amount of time. So we're not up there usually for one or two songs. We're usually up there for like four or five songs straight. Um, that's a long time. That's like 20 minutes of being on stage. And towards the tail end of that, we are out of breath. It's like a full blown workout. So um, I would be mindful of that. Uh, if you come up to the stage, don't be in the front row if you're not gonna tip. Leave the front row for the people that are gonna tip. We want to show those people extra money. You still get to enjoy this show, but you give us room to be able to make tips because we are there to make money and be an entertainment show. Um, also, when you are giving us a tip, don't assume that you can grab us anywhere. If we don't put your hands there, then don't assume that you can put your hands there. Nine times out of 10, we're gonna throw our boobs in your face and shake our butts and you know give you a very up close and personal show, but if we're not comfortable with your hands or your face being there, we're not gonna put them there. And so you shouldn't assume that we're gonna be okay with it just because you're holding money up. Um, and then the other thing is come with a great attitude. Like if you're just sitting there and you know you have a funky look on your face, like you're not really in a good mood, you're probably the last person that we're going to walk to while we're on stage. We wanna to walk to the people that are smiling and they're excited and they're whistling and those are the people that we're gonna show attention to. And when I say tipping, it doesn't have to be $20. I mean, it's great when, we're, when we get a $20 bill or a $100 bill, but if you only have $1 and that's your budget, that's great, but have a smile and just be respectful. We'll make our way over to you. Um, now, Avian and Exotica, that's not normally we're receiving tips from you guys. Usually there's a long line. So if we're sitting there and we're at a podium and we're signing autographs, um, that's really like get in line and, you know, as we take care of each person, it goes on to the next person. So you'll always get your chance. So just be patient. Try not to skip the line. The people before you waited and want to see us just as much as you do. So just be respectful of your environment. So I think that would be the, the easiest way, but good frame of reference between meeting us in public and Okay, so yeah, that's, that is a good question. And let's define what is good and what is bad um, from our perspective as the artist, right? So good for us is encouragement. You like what we are wearing. You like our smile. You love the pose. You, you think the, the post is funny. And a bad comment is critiquing us in any way. Like, let me put it in perspective for you. Like, we are in the public eye constantly. And that subjects us to a lot of criticism, which we put ourselves in that place to be criticized. But does it, it does we put ourselves in the place to be criticized? But it doesn't mean we necessarily want to be criticized, right? Like the sticks and stones can break your bones, but words, you know, what is it? Words can never hurt me, or something yeah. like that. Um, I I wish that was true, but sometimes. We all have bad days and we have good days. So some, if I'm having a great day and somebody says something shitty like, oh, you know, what is she wearing? Or, you know, her teeth could be whiter. <laughs> something like that. Um, I, it's easy for me to brush it off because I'm having a good day. But when you're having a really stressful day and everybody's coming at you and things just seem to be falling apart, those are kind of those things that they do hurt. And it's like, gosh, you know, what do I have to do? Um, as a model, we are constantly striving for perfection. And I think constructive criticism is okay. Um, I just hate the word criticism in there, like constructive advice, right? If you're like, oh, I love it when you wear the color purple. You know, I wish you would wear more of that. That's like nice advice to give. And I guarantee you that'll get you closer to that model actually doing what you want, rather than be like, oh, you look like shit in purple. 
<laughs> it's like, well, God, you know, like if you don't like, if you don't like what I'm wearing, then why even comment at all if you don't have anything nice to say? Um, or people will, you know, say things about, oh, you know, your last performance, you know, you, um, you're always in LA or you're always in Vegas. When are you going to come to Wisconsin? You're never in Wisconsin. You don't like us Wisconsin people. It's not that we don't like you. It's, you know, we go where we're hired. And so some of it, I think, is just a lack of knowledge of how the industry works, how filming works, how, how our wardrobe works, um, why our hair is a certain way, um, you know, why we are super tan in one picture versus pale white in another. Um, there's, there's different reasons for, di different, reasons, um, for different looks, and a lot of that has to do with the script um, that we get. Um, you know, sometimes we're heavy on a workout and our bodies are rock solid and a low body fat percentage, but we're human. And sometimes we may go up a percentage or two in body fat because we want to eat pepperoni pizza, <laughs> right? Like last week I splurged. I was in Vegas and I was like, I ate every possible thing that was unhealthy and I didn't work out one day. Is that my normal? No, normally I'm like right on top of it, but if someone makes a comment about, oh, I can't see your abs today, it sucks. Like, you know, do you want someone to pick out all of your flaws? Then don't do it to somebody else. Like really, we're exploited enough and we really, really need encouragement more than anything. Like we're putting ourselves out there to give you guys entertainment. Not because we have to, because we chose to. And, and we continue every day to make that choice. But at any point in time, if it becomes so critical, a lot of girls are getting out because they can't stand the criticism. And that just hurts the amount of content that's out there. The nicer you are, the more content there's going to be. So I would say that's the best thing is, is really, you know, give comments about what you do like. And if there's something that you don't like, keep it to yourself. Just don't comment on that picture. <laughs>
reality of what <laughs> I guess like the reality of the situation is that's not gonna happen like none of us are gonna fly halfway across the country because your dick was so beautiful and so big and so amazing that all of a sudden we just want to hop on it and we're willing to hop on flights and go halfway across the country to do it it's not likely right um, but if you're doing it from a standpoint of you know you're proud of your body and you know you know, like I love my boobs. I take lots of pictures of my boobs, right? And um, you're coming from that standpoint, you love the way that your dick looks and you wanna share it, just ask. And as far as tips to make it a good dick pic, please make sure that the lighting is good. Like I can't tell you, I'm like, what did he take a picture of his dick in a closet with no lights on? Like I can't even see anything. Like how am I supposed to give like good feedback on a picture I can barely see anything? Um, so many times I've been sent a picture and it's like, oh, do you like my dick pic? And I'm like trying to zoom in and figure out like what I'm looking at. I'm like, what body part am I looking at exactly? <laughs> like, what is going on here? I don't even see what I'm looking at. Um, so definitely make sure it's well lit. And then number two, hold it at the base. Guys, grab the shaft. Well, guess what? It makes your dick look smaller. You've covered half of it up. And, and so like, what are we waiting? We want to see as much of it as possible. Just grab it all the way at the base and then take a dick pic. Now we can actually give you honest feedback on what it looks like. So I hope that helps with sending a good dick pic if you get a girl that says, yeah, I'd love to see that. Um, and, and just see where it goes from there. And you never know what that will turn into. Maybe she starts asking you for a whole bunch more, <laughs> especially if you're giving Starbucks or Sephora gift cards to go with it. So I think these are all really good questions and I get them a lot and I just wanna preface it with this. Um, etiquette is big, behavior is big. Um, how to treat somebody in public is, you know, who are they with, what are they doing? Um, how to treat somebody at a convention that they're paid to be there is, you know, how long has she been on stage? Am I bringing good energy? Am I smiling? Am I being a welcoming person that she wants to talk to? You know, if I'm getting a lap dance, did she put my hands there or am I making an assumption and just grabbing all over her because I think I've paid for this lap dance and I just deserve to put my hands anywhere? No, you paid for an up close and personal lap dance in private. That doesn't mean that your hands can go all over my body. Um, so, ask. You can also ask, you know, can I touch you? Um, as far as commenting, keep it nice. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, honestly. Um, let's bring the world up and, and uplift everyone rather than bringing everybody down. If, if I want to feel like crap, I can turn on the news, okay, and just see what's going wrong with the world. I want to go on social media to have a good time. Um, and then dick pics, uh, Good lighting, hold it at the base, and make sure that she wants to see it and offer something back like a gift card. I really hope that that helps. That wraps up um, episode nine, right? That wraps up episode nine. I hope that brings you plenty of insight on how to get the most and best experience when interacting with a porn star. Um, please leave a comment on my YouTube. I love to hear your feedback. It definitely helps me know uh, what kind of content y'all like um, and how to go forward with that. Um, remember, you can join my website for free. Um, you can purchase memorabilia on there. You can book me for a one-on-one -on -one video chat. Um, and you can see me live on webcam there. So um, stay tuned for episode 10, where I will give you insight onto what really is going on on a porn set behind the scenes, which is also known as BTS, and the difference of what happens on set versus what happens in my personal life. Um, so I think that that's going to be a really interesting one. I get a lot of questions on, you know, how is it on set versus how is it in my personal life? And I think that that's going to be a really intriguing one. So stay tuned. Thank you all so much for subscribing and, uh, make sure you share the video and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks.